NASA has made a startling discovery that a huge object in space has started sending mysterious radio messages to Earth. These mysterious messages are not a new phenomenon, as radio telescopes around the globe have consistently picked up these messages for several decades. Let's take a closer look at what this new message may be and what is responsible for it. Fast radio bursts are extremely brief bursts of radio waves that were first spotted in 2007 and usually originate billions of light years away. Until recently, scientists believe that the only thing that could cause such phenomena were powered by young, short-lived cosmic objects called magnetars. Magnetars are the most powerful magnets in existence. They are an ultra-powerful and exotic type of neutron star that is surrounded by a magnetic field. Since this field is thought to be at least 1,000 times stronger than a normal neutron star and about a trillion times stronger than the Earth's, magnetars were the perfect explanation for the existence of fast radio bursts to date. That is, until recently, a startling discovery was made when fast radio bursts were observed coming from the direction of a neighboring spiral galaxy called M81, about 11.7 million light years away. According to many researchers, finding this burst among a cluster of aging stars in this galaxy is something that simply does not make sense. So far, the scientific community has struggled to untangle this mystery and is moving closer to the conclusion that maybe there are multiple ways fast radio bursts can originate. The first of these new mysterious signals were picked up in January 2020 by the Canada Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment Telescope. The modern facility has been instrumental in increasing our understanding of these radio bursts since its inception in 2017. Before it, scientists knew of fewer than 30 fast radio bursts and the telescope has helped boost this number by more than a thousand. A few months ago, it was reported that an international team of astronomers discovered a persistently active fast radio burst, posing questions about the nature of the mysterious phenomena. The new source, Fast Radio Burst 201-905-20b, was initially detected with the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope, also known as FAST, in Guizhou, China, on May 20, 2019, and found in data in November that year. Follow-up observations by the Jansky Very Large Array Program led by Caltech found weaker, constant radio emissions associated with the FRB, also allowing the Subaru Telescope in Hawaii to localize the source to be within the fringes of a dwarf galaxy nearly 3 billion light years from Earth. The biggest surprise of this discovery for scientists was that the new FRB seemed to be a perfect twin to an earlier discovery. Many believe that the first such association between an FRB and a radio source may have been a coincidence because it was hard to explain. However, the newer second example shows that it may be a real and critical part of the life of an FRB. The discovery raises new questions about the nature of FRB, such as if the sources of FRBs evolve or whether different kinds of sources are capable of emitting fast radio bursts. One of the key questions in the field of FRBs is whether all sources repeat. Scientists favor the theory that if all sources do repeat, their activity levels drop precipitously as the source ages. Since FRB 201-905-20b is only the second of around 500 known FRBs to have a so-called PRS counterpart, and both are extremely active, they could, hypothetically, represent the youth of the radio burst. Another special feature of FRB 190520b is its dispersion measurement, which indicates its emissions pass through the highest density of electrons of any FRB before being observed on Earth. This suggests the FRB is active in a local plasma environment, such as that created by a supernova, and is a newly created source. While providing insights into the environment of FRB 190520b, the large disparity in dispersion measurements with other FRBs calls into question their use as cosmic yardsticks for measuring distances. Scientists say that an evolutionary path for FRBs is possible, but with just two sources, it's hard to tell. We need to find more data and constrain this evolutionary stage model. We need more signals at different ages to prove that the burst is fading away all the time. 
Cooperation between astronomers and facilities across the globe will be crucial in finding, localizing, and characterizing these mysterious phenomena, as it has been in the case of FRB 190520b. More recently, astronomers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have picked up repetitive radio signals from a galaxy billions of light years from Earth. Scientists have not been able to pinpoint the exact location of the radio waves yet, but suspect the source could be neutron stars, which are made from collapsed cores of giant stars. The signals have been occurring steadily and last up to three seconds. Most fast radio bursts, or FRBs, only last a few milliseconds. The report states that within this window, the team detected bursts of radio waves that repeat every two-tenths of a second in a clear periodic pattern, similar to a beating heart. On December 21, 2019, researchers at the Dominion Radio Astrophysical Observatory in British Columbia, Canada, picked up a signal of a potential FRB. Not only was it very long, lasting about three seconds, but there were periodic peaks that were remarkably precise, emitting every fraction of a second. This is the first time the signal itself is periodic. Data on the burst, including their frequency and how they change based on where the source is located in proximity to Earth, could help researchers determine at what speed the universe is expanding. Most FRBs, which are strong bursts of radio waves from galaxies billions of light years away, last just a few milliseconds before blinking out and are one-off events. This new signal, FRB 2019 1221A, lasts up to three seconds, making it 1,000 times longer than the average FRB and also has the clearest repeated pattern discovered thus far. Going forward, the researchers will attempt to catch further bursts from the same source that could help to more conclusively reveal what is causing these FRBs. The signal FRB 2019-1221A was first detected by CHIME on December 21, 2019, and its unusual nature was immediately spotted by scientists. When the researchers from MIT analyzed the pattern of this signal from a distant galaxy, they found similarities with emissions from radio pulsars and magnetars closer to home in the Milky Way. There is one key difference between FRB 2019-1221A and signals from these objects within our galaxy galaxy, however. The former is over a million times brighter than the latter. Scientists believe that the highly luminous flashes of FRB 2019-1221A could indicate that the radio pulsar, or magnetar emitting them, is usually much less bright. This could mean that some unknown mechanism or event has caused it to emit a train of brilliant bursts in an unusual three-second window. CHIME continuously scans the sky over Earth as our planet rotates and is fortunately positioned just right to catch this rare burst. The instrument, an interferometric radio telescope made up of four large parabolic reflectors, is no stranger to spotting FRBs. Since it commenced operations in 2018, it has spotted hundreds of these bursts. Astronomers hope that future telescopes will detect thousands more FRBs each month, and periodic signals like FRB 2019-1221A could be among them. It has taken over a decade and a half for us to better understand the mystery of fast radio signals. Initial theories suggested they could originate from sources such as evaporating black holes, colliding dense objects, flaring dead stars, and even alien technologies. Upon further research, it was discovered that the nanoscale structures within these signals, in addition to their millisecond duration and intensity, meant that they must be produced by compact, extremely dense objects. This is what allowed scientists to first consider objects such as black holes and neutron stars as likely candidates for the origin of these bursts. These cosmic objects are the leftovers of massive supernovae, which occur when a star blows itself up at the end of its life. However, later it was observed that most of these bursts originated in regions with extreme magnetic fields, which led scientists to believe that they must be caused by magnetars. Additionally, a magnetar within the Milky Way produced a similar radio burst last year, which further solidified this theory. However, the blast was much weaker compared to the extremely powerful ones coming from across the universe.
With these recent discoveries, though, scientists are not sure anymore, and further research is needed to confirm the origins of these mysterious new radio bursts. There is a massive debate on how a population of extremely old and quiet stars can generate blasts of such power, nor can anyone answer how magnetars may exist in a globular cluster. While the likelihood of a magnetar in a globular cluster does seem unlikely, other types of dead stellar objects should be present in abundance. For example, white dwarfs, which are formed when stars turn into red giants and eventually die, and even neutron stars formed by larger supernovae, can have a presence in these ancient clusters. One theory suggests that perhaps magnetars can be formed when two neutron stars collide and merge. There's also a possibility of this happening when two white dwarfs collide, or when a white dwarf and one of the objects orbiting it steal so much mass that it turns into a newborn neutron star. However, this has not been observed to happen so far in the universe. For now, astronomers agree that further research is needed to study other ways that may allow for the formation of a magnetar in these clusters and how these objects may be responsible for these fast radio bursts. Additionally, this particular globular cluster also needs to be studied carefully to better understand the origin of these strange signals. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about a newly discovered asteroid that is expected to hit Earth this week. Do you think these mysterious signals have an extraterrestrial origin? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.